Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Pet Battle World Quests. I'm joined by the mighty Millhouse Mana Storm, and today our opponent is Durian Strongfruit. He's eager to help our pets train alongside his own. So the pets he uses are Sunny, the Sunflower, uh, Roots, a miniature ancient, and Beaky, a little hippogriff chick. Isn't he cute? I want one of these. How do you get that? Hip hip oh griff hatchling. It says trading card game on it. Gonna be tricky to get one of those. Okay, so let's hop right in and get started on what his pets are and what I have and what to do. So first up is Sunny. Sunny's special ability is sunlight. This causes the weather to become a sunny day, and it also improves the effects of his other abilities. One is Photosynthesis, a heal over time which is increased in sunny weather, twice as effective, making it a 100% increase. And Solar Beam is a really hard hitting elemental attack, which is increased by 50%, I'm assuming, judging by these numbers, during sunny day. However, he takes two turns afterwards to recharge, like a uh, Chrominius or Chromadon's Surge of Power. And yeah, so the basic, basic, well, the, what you want to do for him is to counter sunlight with your own weather effect. I've gone with Frog, he's a aquatic type, which is strong against Sunny, the elemental pet. So I'm going to go first, and he is going to cast Sunlight, so I don't want to cast Cleansing Rain right off. Instead, I'm going to use... Hmm. You know, I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to start with Water Jet. Previously, I've used Swarm of Flies to whittle away his HP, but I'm going to see if Water Jet fares any better than my previous strategy. So, first turn, he casts Sunny Day. I don't want that. Sunlight, rather. So, I'm going to remove it with Cleansing Rain. This increases the damage of aquatic attacks. Awesome. Hang on, let me double check. Duration of harmful damage over time effects is reduced, and aquatic abilities deal 25% more damage. Yeah. There's not, there's not a lot much left to do. Just hit him with water jets until he's dead. There we go. There's his solar beam, and he's got two rounds left to recharge. Ah, oh, here we go. I got lucky with a critical hit, so I won't really know whether it was effective to use Swarm of Flies or Water Jet on the first turn. Next up is Roots. You can fight him pretty much exactly how you would any other old pet. He's got a Poisoned Attack, Autumn Breeze... Hang on a second. First he's going to apply Stun Seed. It will stun your pet after two rounds, deal a moderate amount of damage. Uh, you could try to block this if you want. Since I'm one pet ahead, I'm just going to take it, and after he applies his Stun Seed, he's going to use Autumn Breeze. This puts a 25% reduction in hit chance to your team for just a couple rounds. Not as bad as Vinyu, but still kind of bad. I'm just going to use Water Jet, and I might take him down, I might not. Takes about 3 hits with him, judging by the amount of damage I do and the amount of health he has. Ah, there we go. Autumn Breeze also restores a small amount of health to him. And it also depends if Autumn Breeze will cause your attacks to miss. So, there is a Stun Seed. It activated. I'm stunned. I'm just going to pass my turn. Sometimes I'll die on this turn. Sometimes not. And if not, I could just take out Roots. Goodbye. Now I've got one pet left. However, he is slower than Beaky. But I still can do something. Uh, before I tell you what that is, Beaky is going to start off with lift off. So no matter what I do, he's going to avoid anything except I can apply swarm of flies. This doesn't work like many most debuffs in that, well, if Beaky is up in the sky from lift off or underground with burrow, Beaky doesn't get burrow. I'm just using burrow as an example. Swarmer Flies is still active for the active pet, wherever it is. So, I can't do anything this turn. He's going to take me out no matter what I do. I'll just pass. 
And the next pet I'm going to bring out is Fledgling Nether Ray. Oh, by the way, you can get frogs pretty much anywhere. I've previously chosen Albino River Calf to go up against Roots because Stone Skid would help counter the poison damage. And Water Jet just because, well, it's good against elementals. So, Fledg Fledgling Nether Ray, because Beaky's Rush. I think he does that less often than Quills. Rush deals beast damage and allows him to go first next round. However, he tends to use Quills more than that. Which deals 1 to 2... What is it? Deals damage 1 to 2 times and 2 to 3 times if he goes first. Which is usually the case since he's a flying pet. Okay, Fledgling Nether Ray you can get in Nether Storm. I thought it was the other one I was thinking of. So another storm is in Outland, the topmost area here. I think a good place to find them is around here, around here, just above Cosmo Wrench. Could be wrong, but I think along the edges of each little land mass. Okay, and the only attack I'm going to use is Arcane Blast. Deals heavy damage against flying pets. And since the damage ramps up each time I use it, Beaky goes down pretty quickly. And as you can see here, he is below half health, which allows me to go first this round, getting two hits in a row on him. And there you go. That's it. Beaky is out, and I think, well, yeah, you can. You can bring a carry pet using this strategy if you want. That is Durian Strongfruit. There you go, pets, nice and healed. Okay, well, that's the video. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Next time, I'm going to have to wait for another world quest to pop up, Pet Battle World Quest specifically. Nothing else to record right now, and whenever it shows up, I will do a video on it. Okay, till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.